Hello and welcome to What Are You Saying? Hashtag Ways, where we talk about topics in the news as it affects us all. I am Osaiwa Mesali, and today um, I have Isi and Sanzi again on set with me. How are you ladies doing? How are you doing? I'm Hello. very well. <laughs> um, quite frankly, um, hmm. I'm, I'm well as a person, but lately I feel, I was telling Isi um, before the show started, I feel guilty for being happy lately because there's just so much going on in the world, so much tragedy, disaster, uncertainty. We live in really uncertain times. And when I put up a picture of me like smiling and all that on Instagram, I feel guilty. I feel like, do I even have the right to be smiling Ex right now? Exactly. But yeah. irrespective of it, um, I still try to like encourage people that irrespective of what is going on, just... Be happy. I mean, that's pretty much you all you can look be. look for the good in us. There's always a positive side or there's a, always a silver lining in the midst of uh, challenges. Mm. So I think it's okay to feel happy and not be depressed. It also shows to, that we are grateful to God for where we are. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, so, so that it doesn't look like you are ungrateful for being alive, you know, and all of that. Because there's just too there's many. There's just too so much You know, I put up on. a post um, today and I was saying to people, I mean just being alive after 2020 should be enough reason for you to just be grateful mm -hmm. regardless of whether you put in your goals whether you you got those goals or whatever just being alive is yeah. one big testimony for anyone you know this mm -hmm. by the time the 2020 comes to an end you know and yeah. you should just for what is worth love more forgive more this year yeah there's no point holding anybody. Just see, like, life is completely uncertain. And yeah. believe me, we are all looking forward to the end of 2020. <laughs> I, I, I do believe there is good in 2020, and yeah. I'm going to reap of it, quite frankly. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. It's I was going to talk about Naira Mali so and his concert, but, yeah, I don't think I'm in the mood to talk about it mm -hmm. anymore. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so today, here's what we found as today's quote. Entrepreneurship is a state of mind a can-do attitude, a capacity to focus on a vision and work towards it. That's from Barry Rockstand. What do you, what do you ladies think? Mm -hmm. State of mind. Um, an entrepreneur, first of all, you have to be like really creative. I think anybody who is an entrepreneur, you have to be a genius because creating things, building things, whether it's business scratch, or tech yeah, from or scratch. Or even trying to replicate an existing lot. business. It's, it's, it's a, a, it's lot, a lot of pressure. Mm. It's a lot of craziness. And just, I think entrepreneurs are genius and I complete, I, uh, geniuses. And I, com I, I agree with the quote. Mm. To, I also agree with the quote, but there is something that we, we should also look at the entrepreneur from the concept, not only from the creativity concept, mm -hmm. but from the concept that they, they, they have to have a lot of resilience mm. right. to face every Absolutely. challenge that comes their way. Mm -hmm. So the mind of an entrepreneur should be very rugged mm. and ready to f uh, weather whatever storm that comes their way. Well, so today our focus is mm. to go into the entrepreneur's mind, understand why some experience growth whilst others don't. And we have Steve Harris to talk to us. But first, let's take a quick break for what's in the news.